All right, let's get this started. What's good, beautiful people? How are we doing today? How in the flock are we doing? What is good? What's up, y'all? What up, what up, what up? Hope you guys had a great weekend. We are beginning Year four of the UNLV Dynasty and NCAA Football 2005. Now, I'm not ending the series altogether after the season, but I think year four is going to be the last season we play until, like, before we switch to Madden 09 and NCAA 09. And we'll play year three, year four of Madden as well, so, you know, no one's really in here to hear that announcement, but if you didn't know, now you do, so. There it is. But here we go. Year number four. And we're starting off the game with a re or we're starting off the season with a really easy game uh, against Army. I just really want to see how the roster is, so I had to get Army on the schedule to see how they were. I see how we are, I should say. Then we got Miami. Then we have a three game road stretch against Oklahoma, USC, and Texas before we get a bye week. 
That'll be tough. Then we have Air Force on the road. Then we got Utah, BYU, New Mexico, San Diego State, a bye, then Colorado State, then Wyoming. All right, so here we go. I made a new playbook, so we're going to see a lot more shotgun this year than we have in previous years. So that'll be interesting. That'll certainly be interesting indeed. Indeedly doodly. But yeah. This could be the year we win the natty, y'all. I don't know. We'll see. Could this be the year we win the national championship? I have no clue. We'll have to see. Las Vegas, the marriage capital of the world, hosts this college football game here at Sam Boyd Stadium. Marriage capital of the world. The rest in layers, and we'll see some cold temps for the Army Cadets and the UNLV Rebels. That was cold in September, okay. And here come the Rebels. to the electric atmosphere of opening game of this new college football season. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Lee Corso and Kirk Kirkstreet, and we're here to bring you all the intensity of week one right into your living room. The Black Knights look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? Probably. Yeah, unfortunately, this one won't be much of a contest. UNLV is led by their outstanding linebacker. His talent is unparalleled, but what really makes him stand out is his leadership. His team responds to his no-quit attitude, and they should win big today. You're 100% correct. UNLV has the ability on defense to completely shut this team down. And Kirk, that's exactly what they're going to do. Shut them down on defense and put it in the end zone on offense. Thanks, guys. Let's All right, so they're both picking us, and now the pressure's on. That totally means we're going to lose, right? is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick and here we go he kicks it Moss fields it in the end zone there we go good tackle he brings it out guys and gets nowhere you're right Brad he would have been wise to down the ball there. they'll take over at the 13 let's go boys the ground with a tailback. A good tackle Manning. There we go. The halfback runs for four yards. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 17-yard line. The Black Knights line up with three wide. Hand off. God damn it. Brought down. And the fullback picks up the first. All right. The defense a little off guard. You're probably right. Huge gain there on the ground. First and ten. Ball on their own 26. All right, defense. We got to step it up. We're playing like shit right now already. UNLV lines up it's early still, but you know. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Wants to throw. Ah, uh, good defense. Incomplete pass. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. Gotta relax and just make a good throw. Number 15 lines up in the shotgun. High snap. Ooh, they tried it. Holden tackles him for a loss on the play. And a good job, There we go. Defensive end coming up with a big stop. Third and 11 now. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. Crap. Steps up. He's looking. Bro, I couldn't get off him, bro. He just that should be that should be holding, honestly. That should have been holding, but oh well. Uh... 
They come out in a punt formation. Banks punts it, and it's a good one. That's a good punt. Walker fields it at the 30. He retreats. Oh, we got space. He spins. I didn't need the spin. I should have just kept going. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing too special. They'll go to work at the 43 yard line. We're starting off with the. Wait, why is Fala starting? Moran is definitely the starter. Devin Fowler should be starting over Rollins, too. The option left. Good run by Collier. With a takedown. They'll get six yards. Gain of six on the play. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. Second and four coming up here. Ball on their own 49. He drops back. Looking. He rolls out to the right. What the fuck kind of throw? And that one's fallen incomplete. Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. Third and four. Not even. Ball on the 49. They come out with a big set. Drops back to pass. He scrambled. Across the middle. Oh, that was dangerous, but it works. Brings him down. And we got oh, I can see his hurt. Oh, yeah. It looks like he hurt his arm on that play. That's not good. As a coach, you love mismatch. In this case, if the slot guy's covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. And we have a really thin receiving uh, core. UNLV lines up in a shotgun set. He pump fakes, looks. The burns. That's all we can do. No one else is getting open. Seven yard pickup. I'd have my quarterback look for the long ball here. Second and three. All right, he just says a bruised elbow. UNLV That's good. That's not bad. Back to pass. Gives a little pump fake. Can't find anyone. Oh, open. come on, Slammer. Wants to throw outside. Oh. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Looks like someone was called for holding. Uh, it was Davis. Come on, Davis. So instead of moving forward, they'll move a few yards back. Boy, I hate to see guys making dumb penalties like that. Second and 13. Ball in the 47. The Rebel line up with two tight ends. They go with the option. Come on, Boston. Come on, Boston. He didn't even try to go up for it. Great defensive play by the cornerback. I'd come out Oh my god. You know you got a ways to go for the first. He didn't even try to go up for it, bro. That, that is just tragic right there. The rebel come out showing three wide. He's looking. Down the middle. There we go, Boston. Good catch. Moran with a takedown. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Two tight ends set. He drops back. He's under some heat. Ooh. He's going to try and scramble. Ooh. He's going to take off. Good run. He's knocked out of bounds. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. I'll take that, though, I mean, because <laughs> he was not going to be able to throw it to nobody at that point because nobody was open. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looking. There's Boston. Big opening. Barnett brings him down. Probably shouldn't have juked. Four on the play. This is a perfect time for a pass. you got a few yards to go, and the defense is thinking run all the way. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. Moran steps back to pass. Oh my God, really? And that one was a little off target. I'm being selfish. My favorite holiday is my birthday. I can take the whole week off my birthday off from work with PCO. That is fair. TMG, how you doing though, bro? It's been a minute. That is definitely valid. The Rebel with four receivers. Try to get him to jump off sides. Let's go, baby. We got him. The defense lends First them a hand down. with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? First and ten. 
Ball in the third that was clutch. Everybody just Silencio. All right, decent run by Burns. The back gets three on the carry. I spread out the offense and let my quarterback zip the ball in there. You only need a few more yards for a score. High formation here. Back to pass. Looks. Fire. Ooh, that's a dot right there. Beautiful throw. Nicely designed play to That's what you call threading the needle. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Good job by the O line protecting too, even though my man just got smoked right there. Good lord. My man just got smoked. I was uh what it was Collier. I mean sheesh, honestly, Bucket should just stay it on him. Bucket was doing a good job holding him and then Collier just, you know. I think we got our screen y'all. That looks pretty good. There we go. Oh, I, I took a screenshot of the question of the day. I'm dead. I'm sleep. I'm a sleep boy. I'm a fucking sleepy boy. How's it going, my brother? I can't complain, bro. How have you been? the PAT. Here's the Pontiac drive summary. 11 plays, 57 yards, baby. Gotta love it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Oh, boy. Kicks it off. Come on, bounce inside. Oh. Here's the call Man. the referee. They'll be set up with good field position after the kicker sent that one out of bounds. It's the kicker's job to send that ball deep, so he messed up big time. I mean, he sent it deep, deep out of bounds. They'll throw on first down. Throws and they've got the screen set up. Oh my God, bro! How do you not get him? Holden with a takedown and a nice catch coming out of the backfield. Yeah, this is a good job of the quarterback reading the coverage downfield and realizing he had to dump the ball to the running back for the big game. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back. Wants to throw. Out oh, good job, McFadden. There we go. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something uh, I feel the like they're going to run here. Remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. Third and two. Ball on the 43-yard line. The D-line pinches down. Here's a pitch left side. Cody. What's up, Shakur? How you doing today? Hope not our Jackson team will return in Klein's League someday. One day, hopefully. Favorite holiday is July, 4th of July, because usually that's the last game of the CWS is on the... I feel you. Dog... Oh, Dog and, Ro Dog and Rampa. All right, I like that. There we go. Doing good today, bro? That's good to hear. It's first and ten. Hopefully this week continues to go well for you guys. I like Dog and Rampa. Dog and Rampa is dope. I like that name though. The dope name. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good. Yeah, I hope, you, I hope you guys are having a good Tuesday so far. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. It's playing some NCAA 2005. Play action. He's looking. Let's oh apply. crap! Incomplete. Army is like the worst team in the nation this year. So if y'all see me blowing them out, like that doesn't mean that my team is good. It just means Army is awful. Linebackers move over. They go with a toss. He tries to good tackle, Snicket. Two yards on the toss play. 
So another third down upcoming for the offense. The linebackers shift over a little. Back to pass. Looking. Ooh, what a hit by Fala. Straight up smacked him. And they're going to go for it. Surprise, surprise. Let's see if they can convert. They need this pass. Under heavy pressure. Throws this one out to the it's dropped. He dropped it. And the D answered the call. That's there. wild. Huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big time plays. All right, it's yeah. offense time, baby. Thirty-five. The Rebel. Oh, uh, high snap. Moran on first down. He unloads it. And oh, it's good blocks. Ooh, nice juke. And they got Burns. And that was a good call to go to the screenplay in that situation. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. All right, we're the going to option here. Go. Ball on their own 43. The Rebels come out showing three wide. Moran on the Ah, uh, I should have just in the pitched it. Some. Fourth of July, I feel you, Asgardian. What's good, fam? Are you at work today, uh, Asgardian? Or? You off. UNLV comes oh, out with an ice Looks, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. The linebacker on the blitz picks up the sack. Well, we're really playing down to Army right now. Field position game. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. It's off, and it is a dandy. We'll tackle Lee. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 29. Number 15 has four receivers lined up here. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now they're not having much luck at all. On the ground, up Good. the middle. There we go. Cody with a takedown and a pickup of about seven. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 36. Everybody get him hype. The handoff uh, on the counter. A good tackle. And he's tackled. And the tailback gets positive yards there. This is the old counter play. Nothing too, too fancy. Just keep those chains moving. First and ten. Ball on the 39. Army comes to the line. Oh, the crap. Line. That fullback is killing us right now. A nice seven yard run by the fullback. I work till 4 p.m. Well, hopefully it goes by quickly for you, fam. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score UNLV 7, Army nothing. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 46. Tate, the lone back. Drops back to pass. He's going right. Damn, they could have got us for PI. Could have got us for PI, but they did not. We get third and three here. This is the fifth play of this drive. Army lines up in a goal line set. Good tackle. Let's go. They tried to run the ball for the first down, and they didn't get it. No, sir. You saw the defense just power through their blocks and wham into them. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Walker, fair catch that. The there we go. Catch. And they make the fair catch at the 18. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 18-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. There's Agassi. There we go. Oh, damn. And he's he got speared. Down. And they get a few yards on that little reception. Check it out. He ran a good route on this play. And the timing of the pass was good. And they were able to get a nice game. Moran set to go to the air. Wants the middle. Oh, look at Agassi getting loose. 
What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. It's first and ten. Three catches, 35 yards six. so far for Agassi. The Rebel set up in the gun. Moran drops back on first down. Let's run now out. he tries to buy some time. He's oh, Moran has some space. And now he's going to run. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. First and ten. Oh, let's actually give my boy Burns some burn on the ground. Two tight end set. Burn on the handoff. Ah, he got what he could. With a takedown. They'll get two on that one. Just wasn't a whole lot of space there. Let's go counter here. Oh, it Second and eight might be up. open if we block it. Oh, uh, they shifted the away too. Comes out with an eye formation. Uh, he just uh, he has no speed though. Two yard loss. You gotta execute in this long yardage situation. Just take the snap, bring it in there. Third and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Army brings in their nickel package. Back to pass, looking. He's on the run. He's going right. Oh, come on, Benson. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was? I wasn't even throwing that hard. No other choice but to go for it here. Here we go. He steps up. Come on, come on, Agassi. Oh, my God. No P.I.? Now that's how you get a team motivated. Bro, we are playing so poorly today. With an explosive power attack. The Black Knights go with the I formation. What the fuck, Chuck? Oh my God. Say that one, Chuck. Tate on the give, and down he goes. They grab eight yards. Oh God. Second and two coming up here. Ball on their own 45. The linebackers are looking inside. He drops back. Throws. Let's go. Give me that, Kemba. Good job, Kemba. Looks like the quarterback was rattled by that pressure. Well, let me tell you, the best ones will sit there and take a hit and make the throw. This kid's got to stand there if he wants those passes completed to his team, not the other. I'd sell the pass here, and then I'd hand it off to my halfback. Moran lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. Quick throw to Agassi. Brings him down. So they execute, move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Moran is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Oh, what the hell just happened? The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Moran drops to throw. Looks. Wants to throw. Ooh. Oh, I tried to spin him out. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, coach. A first down and a nice. Just keep on going. Keep on moving. Convert on third and long. We'll open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. The Rebel come out showing three wide. Rolls to the right. Rifle Damn, no blocking whatsoever. Five yard loss on the play. I throw it deep here. You may be able to gain a chunk of yards if the defense is not ready for it. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 43. Army lines up with five defensive backs. He's looking. He's going long. Oh my God, Boston. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was. And it was a catchable ball. <sighs> right at him. He just didn't catch it. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Rebels go with the I formation. Moran back to throw. Looking. Has time. Over the middle. And he can't hang on to it. That one's just too hot to handle. Yeah, the oh my God, bro. Taking a little bit off his passes in those situations. A team that can run the ball has the best chance of winning. So I try to establish the run here. Army lines up in a dime defense here. Fuck. Didn't get all of that one. And it's out of bounds at the 39-yard line. So before the offense That's annoying. Hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Linebackers move over. Yeah. 
Let's and go. We got a sack. They'll make the sack. There was just not enough people to block. And when there ain't enough, you're going to get nailed. Man, I almost got fooled there, though. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 33 yard line. They come out in a nickel. He drops back. Oh, give me that, bro. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete. Gotta pass. give me that pick. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on their own 33. Looks like they're going to make them nickel and dime them. Back to pass. Looks. Throws it to the outside. Ooh. And he can't make the catch. Good drop. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. I just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Well, what's up, Dynamongo? I'm chilling. How are you doing today? Sends his butt team out on the field. He gets it away. Walker takes it to 33. Oh, we got to the 41. Okay. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. The key here is making sure the no offensive option. line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. Good to hear, man. Doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. No problem. What you been up to? They'll run the option. Pitches back. Oh damn. Brought down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. As a coach, you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Rebels come out in the shotgun. Moran drops back to pass. Throws it out there. Oh, come the fuck on, man. He just let his wide out a little. Stream for our earlier and I just school work. I feel you. I feel you. Tell you what. It's a long yarded situation. Uh, Army should not even like be competing with us in this game. This is a bad sign for the rest of the season. Back to pass. He's looking. Short talk. Oh, that's not going to be your first. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense. School works and stream lyrics. A. Into a first down. Ain't nothing wrong with neither of those. You don't want to be too predictable out there. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. It's a good punt. Punts the ball away. Moss takes the 15. There we go. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Hey, what's up, Vachon? How are you? How's it going? At the 20-yard line. It's been a minute, dude. How have you been? The Black Knights line up in an I formation. They'll give it off here. Holden with a takedown. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Army takes a timeout. About two minutes before halftime, the Black Knights come out in the ace formation. He drops back. He rolls out to the left. Wants to throw oh outside. Got it. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice Man, first down conversion. This is annoying. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. Linebackers move over. Well, God damn. Brother franchise coming through with 20? FG? Brother franchise? Good lord. All the pimps from Brother Franchise's streams are com streams coming through. My man Hobie's in the building. Revamp. My man's revamp pimping in the building. Good Lord have mercy. What is good, beautiful people of the FG fam? Welcome in, everybody. For those of you guys who do not know who I am, my name is Kaz Cray. I am the creator that you require, giving you the content that you desire. Are we playing some NCAA football 2005? We're struggling with a really bad Army team. Army is literally the worst team in the dynasty right now, and they're giving me fits. So, eh. Brother Franchise, how the fuck was your stream, though? Damn right, I desire you. Hey, yo. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Hey, quick playing with me, Dark Spectre. Quick playing with me, bro. 
Spectre out here just trying to snuck me, though. I just got snuck, guys. Spectre just snuck me. Dream was interesting for sure. Now, I need to know. Did VCU and Iowa State win or lose? What's up, pimp? Good lord. Good god. I'm chilling, Spectre. Uh, my day is going pretty well so far, revamp. I can't complain. I hit the gym this morning. Now, Army's giving me a game. So, any of these dummies want to come here talking about, oh, you used to make the, make the difficulty harder. Well, maybe you should watch games like this and then you'd realize that like, the gameplay is pretty random. It's just when I play crap teams, usually I play pretty well. Both, bro, you hate to see it. It's only two on the draw play. That's just my luck with sports this weekend, though. We have a two, three, four, seven, all four eights, and worse in the Sweet 16. Goddamn, so no ones. Make it hotter. Play on Hive Man, even though you're playing on Flinders that work on All American. Fuck it, I'm leaving early. Hey, if you ain't got nothing to do at work, you might as well, bro. Has a little more height than the whiteouts, but give me a break. Four teams better than an eight. I'm dead. Any six teams? UNLV lines up in a dime defense here. He drops back, steps up. Ah, uh, nice miss. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He let his half back too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can. Catch it. Bro, like at this point, what is the what is even the point of me streaming on kick when it's just a bunch of follow for follow BS, bro? Like, respectfully, like, you know. I don't think they have any choice here, guys. They're gonna go for it. They need this pass. He's going right. I'm really about to just say fuck kick at this point because literally it is just a bunch of follow for follow this shit. Like, it is, it is really just. Mindless follow for follow nonsense. My head to the club or head home. Sheesh. Army comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Look, wants to God throw. Damn it. It's tipped. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. This pitch play is a good call. Here. Wait, so as guardian, you live somewhere in Oceania, right? Like, no, like Australia, New Zealand, that area, Samoa. I haven't tried Journey yet, but I feel like feel it ain't for retro games. Not at all. Back to pass. I mean, if you're not playing COD, you pretty much, like, aren't going to do much on kick. Why? Well, Oceania is, like, the area, or Oceana, Oceana whatever, is the area that, like, Australia and New Zealand and whatnot are in. I thought you lived down there for some reason. Or no, I may run the Pimp Night account over there. Hey. What's up, Wesley Wolf? Welcome into the stream. Moran drops back. Oh god. He's looking. Oh god. Rolling out to the right side. Oh my god, bro. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's gotta take it deep. Yeah. Moran's not doing very well. It might be fall of time. It might be time for Mark Falla. The game was fun on the original Xbox. I mean it's fun on the PS2 as well. I'm playing I'm like playing it literally on a PS2. Right now, no emulator and none. Oh, you're Polish, but you're a Polish Brit, though. Sadly, with American citizenship, uh, you hate to see it. Why do I think you were from freaking Australia for some reason? I don't know. And this one's gonna go out of bounds at the 48. The offense heads out. I don't know why. I thought you were Australian, but. Give me mix up with crap. Well, no, I know Param's from Australia. Like, I, I've been knowing Param's Australian. I just, for some reason, thought you also lived over there. I don't know why. But, you know, I, it's just a smooth brain moment on me, my part. Yeah, it's not because it's better there. I just happen to have that. Very, no, that's, no, I know. I know. I'm just saying. Like, it, it's just great. NCAA 05 was dope in general. You'd be way happier than here. I feel you. Under pressure, someone got a hand on. Well, you about to go to the club at like 4 p.m. though. What the fuck? You about to turn up? Like, I've heard of going up on a Tuesday and whatnot, but god damn. Hate this country for a multitude of reasons. I don't hate the country. I just think that there are a lot of ways it can be better. 
It's like, definitely, it could be worse, but there are things that could absolutely be better. It's actually bundled on, yeah, my cousins actually had the NCAA 2005 slash topspin disc. I remember that. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 37-yard line. UNLV brings in the nickel here. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of things that are good, but there are some bad things about the country as well. Lee just got mossed by Moss. Good Lord have mercy. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught Well, his last name is Moss, so I'd say he probably does come from a pretty good pedigree. Whether he's related to Randy or he's related to Santana and Sonora, so he has a pretty good pedigree of receivers. Just some sake of dealing with morons, rednecks, Karens, and pa and Patriots. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. That's why I'm saying like there there are a lot of ways the country could be better. And they'll be returning this one. Number 83 takes it from the six. Nah, but I really do think I'm about to just say fuck kick because literally kick is just a bunch of bots and trolls. First chance I get him, you're moving to London. Hey, I don't even blame you. He's looking. He throws it. The ball is oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't realize he caught it until it was too late. That was dope. People live in London hated there too. Yeah, they might even say shit's corny over there. That's a U team you're playing over there. Oh, you're, you're at UNLV. Yeah. Shit's corny, bruv. I was one of them FG, but I hate it here more. Hey, you know what? Fair. That's fair, as Guardian. You know the vibes. Exactly. <laughs> hey, you right, FG. You right, brother, franchise. <laughs> Let me just the queen. <laughs> Not the queen. The queen is here. Is crazy. <laughs> Couldn't pay my best friend enough to get them to move back to London. Oof. Moran still has it. Throws it to the outside. They said, well, they said they. Oh well. We, we're tired of living in America. Shit's corny. I'd sell the pass here. Shit's corny, bro. So it's second and ten. R.I.P. the the Queen. No, Ice. He's not talking. Ice. FG's referencing something. <laughs> he's referencing a former friend of mine. Who is a freaking narcissistic prick who I've talked about before, but you know. Please answer this question for me. Where was the defense on that play? You can't let a pocket type quarterback run on your defense like that. There's no excuse for that kind of play on defense. The problem there, coach, is they dropped everybody back in coverage and left enough running room for the big guy to get a first down. Come on, Burns. Gets it on the counter. He can scoot. Her, the queen is here. Me, the king is here. And all of a sudden, FG is just the worst person ever. Oh my god, he's so cool. Like, she's calling me, bro. He lives in America. Like, her, man, you're hitting on my... I'm saying, like, what the fuck? That's just, it's just insecurity, bro. That's all it is. Oh my god. Me, the sarcastic fuckhead is here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's buy an island side our own country. Hey, Jimmy, that sounds like a marvelous idea. Until we realize there's no food there and then we have to start eating each other. But that's another uh, problem in and of itself. Oh, hey, Mr. Dwarf Sly. How's it going, my boy? Oh, my God. Hammer. Freaking slammer with the touchdown. What a perfectly What a dot. He's gone through a rapid maturation. Um, my man near Zach attacks in the building. What's good, Zach? How was Raw yesterday, bro? I saw you went to Monday Night Raw. I hope you had a good time. If your girl is looking at other men just because they say the queen is here, it sounds like you need to work shit out. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Insecurity, my boy. Favorite holiday is uh Christmas. That is a very good answer, Colin. Oh, hey, my guy. I have that sound clip somewhere. 
Though it's expensive, like 50k or so for a tiny one. Oof. And it looks like they're ready for the How is it going, though, Colin? Good to see you, bro. I'm doing good. Raw was super loud. I mean, wrestling shows do be loud, bro. Dynamite was crazy. When I went to the first Dynamite, that right. shit was wild in there. And now we'll see the My man Clankity Clank's in the building, too. What's up, T Clank? Clankity Clank. Uh, you talking about my second ex girlfriend? FG, she did the same shit. Army sets up in the eye. I just don't get people like that. It was like if your partner, whether it's male, female, non binary, whatever the fuck, oh my god, get him. If they're like, you know, flirting with other dudes and whatnot, why would you get mad at the dudes for doing that? Why would, like why why not just check your girl, bro, <laughs> or check your man, like or whatever. You know what I'm saying? However they identify, why don't you check your partner in general? Period. And this offense that just don't make no fucking sense. At the line of like on first down, and it's and anytime you speak to a member of the opposite sex, you're clearly hit. Exactly. Well, that's yeah, that's thing. that's how everybody. Like, I literally have a lot of. I, I've heard a lot of really insecure men try to say that you can't just be friends with like women and whatnot. And I'm just like, bro, speak for yourself. Just because you can't keep it in your pants when you're talking to any woman, like, doesn't mean that all of us do. Like, not all of us are like that. Like, the fuck? Plus, what about bi-curious slash bisexual slash pansexual people? So, do you think they just... So, so, basically, you're just saying they can't be friends with anybody because they're going to be attracted to everybody. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Actually, yeah, that's facts. is crazy. Bro, like, you know... Not bad, not bad at all. I found out the Amazon and Firebase is changing the shift so everyone comes at a 7.30 to stay till 4 instead of 5.30 to 2. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But if it's bad, then I'm sorry, but if it's good, let's fucking go. Also, is it 7.30 at night 7.30 in the morning? The ratio to me is more... Then that guys are lo looking to not be friends and just be friends. But there are cases, there are plenty of cases where it works. Like I have a lot of, I had plenty of girls I talked to in high school that I wanted nothing to do with. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. It's like, so you can't just be friends with women that you're literally not attracted to at all. Like, what the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. It would just make stupid generalizations all the time, and it's just they don't make any sense. I was texting my cut. Oh, it's good. Okay, good to hear, Colin. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now, as these guys can't even call the play. Tate on the handoff. I was texting my cousins now, wife Samantha, about coming over because I hadn't seen any of it, and Nicole blew it the fuck up. Bro, like, come on now. Like, two of my friends who are in relationships, like, you know, a guy and a girl, like, they were just hanging out the other day, and it's like, their significant others completely, like, know what their relationship is, like, they know that they're not trying to, like, you know, do anything with each other, they're just close. It's like, you know, if you can't just be friends with certain, with women, like, you know, certain women, then it's like, you know. They'll call on the field goal unit here. What a fat W, hello. High level thinkers pimp, right? They're, 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 those are the alpha chads of the world, respectively. Those are the max alpha chads out here. And it's only like really like the super red pill motherfuckers who like say dumb shit like that too. Like if you notice. Like the Andrew Tates and the Sneakos of the world. And like those are perfect examples for men, right? Come out in a shotgun. Those, those guys su set such a great example for the men of the world. They might throw a flag on that. I think Slammer stepped out. No, they didn't throw any flag. Okay. Oh, speaking of his bald ass, his fifth appeal was denied. <laughs> Let's just blame the Matrix. Okay. I know everybody, like, you know, low-key, you know, says that I'm on David Goggins' dick or whatever. Like, fine, whatever. You know. 
But this is why I keep saying, bro, people need to stop following people like Andrew Tate and people like Sneeko and pay more attention to people like David Goggins and uh, Yako Wolink as well. Like those type of people. Like, because literally, they their whole message is take accountability for your life, don't be a victim. Whereas you see fucking Andrew Tate and Sneeko and all these other motherfuckers who just play the victim in every single situation. Like, I don't know if y'all paid it, like, seeing any of this shit between Sneeko and Moist Critical, but, or aka Penguins, aka Charlie, but basically, Sneeko is just like crying like a little bitch, like, because he's saying everybody's making hit pieces about him. When literally, like, he started the shit with Charlie in the first place, but you know. It's another conversation for another day. Um, I think his, the issue is when a guy shows he has intentions, obviously, and girl refuses to stop talking to him because they are friends. I mean, if that's a boundary, and that's happened to me a ton. If that's a boundary, that's a boundary. But if I end up being successful at something, and then you start getting attracted to me, I'm going to think, I'm going to be like, okay, you know. That kind of just is a big red flag to me because all of a sudden, oh, so now that I have status, now that I'm not saying obviously I don't have status yet, but it's like now that I have status, now that I look a certain way, now you're attracted to me. Like that's weird. It's like it's almost as if you're only attracted to me because I look a certain way or because I have a certain level of success. So it's like right away, I'm like, that's like one of those things. Where it's like okay, well if I'm if I'm just your friend. Then I should stay just your friend, even when I have status. You know what I'm saying? After it happened to every girl I went to high school. I mean, same. Not, and I am commended to you, us mentality. Uh, uh, yeah. It's a very high school attitude, exactly. They just lean into that attention sometimes, exactly. As a coach, I'm concerned about but that's my whole thing. It's just like you know, I have if I'm attracted to somebody, but they just want to be like they just want to say just friends with me, cool. But don't change your mind like if I end up being successful type shit. Now I'm saying like I saw this TikTok. The girl was told to call her guy friend and write a message, and it was can I come over? My mom is annoying and up my ass. And the guy said, yeah, but don't you have a boyfriend? Red flag. Oof. That is a big oof right there. Burns is not a big oof. He is a big touchdown scoring boy today. She said, yeah, but we're just friends. He said, yeah, okay, I, but I... I have cat hair all over the couches, but you might have to leave my bet. Red flag number, exactly. And he tacks on the extra point. So when they hung up, her boyfriend said, okay, can you delete his number now? She said, no, we're best friends. That's gross. To quote the great Fife dog, you don't want me then? Fernandez. So, Johan, don't want me now, exactly. Motherfucker don't sound like you're better. No, he sounds like a sneaky link. I don't even know why dudes, or even women e either, stay in relationships like that. Like, if you have to suspect your partner is doing anything, like, any type of sneaky shit like that, you just gotta cut the cord, bro. The Rebel bring in the nickel package. Because either two things are happening. Either, like, and the, it's like either two things. It's obviously different in every situation. I'm not saying this is like a, a completely straight up thing. There's a lot of gray area, too. But it's like, if they actually aren't doing anything, maybe it's just an insecurity. But it's like, at that point, if they're just untrustworthy, you shouldn't be with them, period, anyways. Like, it goes both ways, obviously, but I pay more attention to Neil deGrasse Tyson, Jordan Peterson, but it's hard enough to question that stuff they say. Yeah, 100%. You should always question the things that anybody says type shit. 
the Black Knights come out in the it's like, but it's like these people just blindly follow guys like Sneeko and Andrew Tate. And I really want to know, has anybody actually made any money off of that Hustlers, uh, Hustler University that Andrew Tate had? Bro, we just gave him a first down. I genuinely want to know, has anybody actually found any success in life following that? Like, you know. No, DeGrasse Tyson is just a chill dude. Could listen to him for hours. Same. But it's like, I genuinely want to know, has anybody actually succeeded using Hustlers University or the Creativity Kit? Because it just seems like cash grab. Oh my god, that's a clip. Spins up field. And call it though. What to look for in this drive is to see how often the defense changes up its coverages. They didn't defend the pass for it. was like, has anybody actually found any success using those at all? It's all BS amount. Bro, I mean, it's literally they're taking advantage of youngins who don't know any better. Oh my god, we threw a pick. That was nice. I'll give him that. That was nice. You got all these Ponzi schemes as YouTube ads, exactly. And they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. That's one hell of a pyramid scheme. Bro, I'm sure they made a crap ton of Like, Andrew Tate was already rich anyways. But I'm sure he made that much more money off of all these poor saps. We're just like, you know what? I got that right back, though. Let's go. And that was their second or their YouTube shits. I mean, shorts, yeah. I mean, every short I see of Sneeko now is him just getting owned by freaking uh, Hunter Avalon, which is hilarious. Like, I saw like some TikToks of like Sneeko and Hunter Avalon having a whole debate, and Hunter would just bring up just, like bring up actual stats, and this man is just like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, you know, you, you, your opinion doesn't matter because you take depressing medicine or whatever. Like, what the fuck? These guys that created software that you... Oh, yeah, by the way, put the fours up, y'all. Y'all thought I forgot. No, put them fours up. These guys that created software you can use to do freelance work for businesses, but it doesn't require you to actually do anything. Like, yeah, bro. That just sounds really, really sus. And anybody who spent money on any of that stuff, nice I genuinely can't feel bad for them. Like, I just, I just can't feel bad uh, for any of them. Uh, nothing is odd. Nothing is like, uh, exactly, FG. And again, if anybody spends money on that, I can't feel bad for them. Because you chose to pay, f like, you know, pay these dudes whatever you paid them. Just Had some strippers attend the bar. Ooh. Okay, as guardian. Ooh. Ah, but it's like. Yeah, I think he's hurt his arm or shoulder on that play. But I don't think it's too bad. I, I just. I, I, I can't, bro. I literally can't feel bad for these people because. If you want to be dumb enough to spend your money on something like that, you know, if it works for you, congrats. I, I hope it does work for them, but if it doesn't, I can't really feel bad because you decided to spend your money on some shit like that. They go with the option. And that's completely, like, regardless of who is selling it, like... I'm not a fan of either Andrew Tate. I'm definitely not a fan of Sneeko either because Sneeko is just... A parrot of, of Andrew Tate. I just I, like there are some things Andrew Tate has said that does make sense, but it's like as a whole, the things he says about women is pretty like gross and close-minded. Just in general, I don't think he's somebody who should be a role model for young men. That's just my personal opinion. And that's me witnessing what he said by my like by like on my own, like not somebody telling me. Oh, well. Sneeko, or not, well, Sneeko and fucking Andrew Tate, but, oh, well, you just listen to what the media tells you. No, I've literally seen them say shit. I've seen the victim and, victim mentality that they have on a regular basis. More so Sneeko than Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate doesn't really play the, well, he is now that he's in jail, but, you know. 
Moran, back to pass. It's like, come on, dog. Now he's scrambling. He takes off. Toxic masculinity. Yeah. He was looking downfield, but nothing. These people just think toxic masculinity means, oh, you know, they don't just don't want us to be men anymore. No, 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 no. Like, no. They just don't want us being complete fucking douchebags on a regular basis, bro. Oh, no, man. Man, I keep seeing more and more drama about Sneeko. Re most recently with Moist Critical. It's kind of funny how he just believes all. All there's a narrative and doesn't even you like he brought it on himself though because Charlie wasn't even saying nothing about him really I think Charlie made like a joke or something like that about Sneeko and Sneeko got in his bag and I don't know Agassi you suck still but not like as much as he thinks he's a man, bro, he act like as soon as somebody says something about him, he wants to get in his feelings, bro. Like, come on now. Moran drops back. He's going there you go, Agassi. Good he's job. Got touchdown. He's got three touchdown passes in but no. That last one was the best of the bunch, if you'd ask me. Great throw, great catch. It's like, how the fuck are you going to be a content creator on whatever? I guess he's on Rumble now or something like that. But it's like. How are you going to be a content creator? But it's like when other content creators say anything about you, you get in your little fifis and you start just like having a complete meltdown on Rumble, flashing. First of all, this man was like on Rumble with a gun, like just waving it around, talking about how he was going to shoot Charlie or whatever. I'm like, bro, come on now. Like, let's use, like, let's not be stupid here. Let's get the call. Like, and he got mad because Charlie brought up the fact that he said Cuties was his favorite movie ever. I'm like, bro, like, you put out a very, very disgusting take, an objectively disgusting take, and people clown you for it now, and you won't cry about it. Like, come on, bro. If you can't handle the heat, you shouldn't put things, like, put things out there, you know? You needed oven mitts for that one because it was a hot tamale. And also, if you feel confident in an opinion that you have, you shouldn't get in your feelings and start crying about how everybody's trying to cancel you when that opinion is brought up to, t like, is, uh, put to task. Like, if, if you're confident in your opinion, you're confident in what you're saying, you shouldn't, like, you know, you shouldn't be making all these videos about people, or, like, streaming about people talking about how, oh, you want to fight them now that they said something about you. And the result is waving a gun around. Come on. Like, bro. And he was telling, like, Charlie was telling him to check his clips because Charlie wasn't going to watch his stream because he was, like, saying, like, slurs or whatnot. And then it's like, yo, these are the only clips. I he, he pulls out two magazines and calls them clips. I'm like, first of all, as far as, like, I, I'm pro, like, firearm or whatnot, and what, but... If you refer to a magazine as a clip, you shouldn't be allowed to own guns. <laughs> I'll leave it there, bro. Like, you should not be able to own guns if you can't get the terminology correct. They had to go for it, but they don't make it. Yeah, but I like the call. They needed to do whatever they could to get back in this ballgame. Too bad it didn't work out the way they wanted it to. Uh, but yeah. People that shouldn't be a content creator. I mean, but... I don't know. So my opinion, my opinion on Sneeko in general, like people are gonna, before you shit on it, just hear me out. I don't think he should be banned from YouTube, and here's why I don't think he should be banned from YouTube. Because when you ban people like that from YouTube, you're ba in their mind, and like in the mind of their fanboys and whatnot, you're basically, you know turning them into martyrs you're basically making it so oh well their cause must be just because youtube censored them or whatever i think you should keep people like that on the platform and let people directly challenge them and continue to clown them as well because now you're just making like by banning him from youtube now his voice is as big and loud and obnoxious as it's ever been or like more big, more loud and obnoxious than it's ever been. So that's why I'm not pro. To, I'm 
not pro deplatforming at all. Well, we thought we were I think there are people, like, you know, if people have controversial opinions, you should allow them to have, have a platform and, and then challenge them on their opinions as well. But that's just my personal opinion. I mean, I used to be, like, big into, like, deplatforming and whatnot, but it's like... Or I used to be like, you know, yeah, certain people should be deplatformed. I don't think that he should be deplatformed because I think people should be able to challenge his opinion directly and not have to go all the way to Rumble to, like, talk to him where he already has an advantage because he already has his legion of fanboys over on Rumble now. So, you know, like, banning him from YouTube just ba basically made his echo chamber that much bigger. UNLV comes out with an eye formation. Colton brings him down. Now, people like EDP should absolutely be banned from YouTube because, you know, EDP is like an actual danger to children. So, people like ED like people who actually like do like this like really disgusting offenses should be banned. Like, if Andrew Tate gets convicted of what he's been, being charged for, yeah, he shouldn't have a platform anymore. But looks. Over the middle. Like, and I don't think R. Kelly should have a platform, like, if, like, and it was all of, like, the off that one, but things hey, that he was accused for stand and whatnot. Can make the catch. You're one step away from the but, you know, right, Coach? Kirk, you're right. the great as a whole, I don't think people should be the platform just eight. because, ball like, you know, oh, this, that, and the third. Army comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Moran options out. There we go, Moran. With a takedown. Nice running on the option there. That is just my opinion. People can feel free to disagree if they want, but I just think like by silencing these people, you're making them even louder. Or like trying to silence them by banning them off your platform. You're making them even louder. I mean, that's literally what happened with Trump. If we were really, if we're really thinking about it, like people turned Trump into a martyr because he got banned from like Twitter, Facebook, and all that. Now this man has an even larger voice because. Now everybody's just gonna be oh like you know y'all just do platform because he's right type shit. They'll bring him down at the six. A five yard pickup for the tailback. That is just my little old opinion though. The game, this game still mentions Pontiac sponsors. I know, right? I mean, it's it's in the programming, so it's never gonna stop mentioning Pontiac. But Pontiac obviously is like, the and they're even mentioning Old Spice. Oh, Old Spice. The Rebel line up in a goal line. Old Spice deodorant is like probably the worst stuff you can put on your body, bro. Burn. We'll run it again. Tackle. Three yard game. Touchdowns are sponsored by Pontiac. Facts. But we we're going to get this week one W. I mean, Army definitely gave us a much tougher game than I thought they would. But they line up in the jumbo set. at the end of the day, we still won. Touchdown, Rebels. A short run gets them the That's going to be just our fifth touchdown of the game. You bet, Coach. They got the push they needed for the score. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Perfect kick. And he tacks on the extra point. It's the LV, baby. Touchdowns are sponsored by Cognac. <laughs> Back flocking. Big factual things. Good old Con. Instead of Pontiac, it's sponsored by Cognac. Kicks it off. Fernandez takes it to 14. Oh crap! Well, we get to one run one last play. Just yeet it, I guess. They'll start this drive at the 35. Army comes to the line with three wide. Just gonna run it. That's gonna be game. And he's tackled. 35 to 7, baby. Let's go. Let's go.
There's the final gun, and this game is history. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. UNLV looked like a team on a mission to destroy anything and everything that got in their way. Brad, this is a really good-looking football team. And we thank you kindly for participating. And we look like crap today, too. That's the crazy thing. We didn't even play our best game. This game... We beat the we beat the worst team. We beat the worst roster this season, thirty five to seven, and it was like it was tied at seven at half. Oh, we're about, we're about to get smoked in week week two, guys. I'm just telling you right now, we're about to get smoked in week two. I can't even words right now. We're about to get our ass beat in week two. I'll put it that way. We're gonna get our ass kicked. That's going to be glorious. It's going to be a whole lot of fun getting our ass kicked. Let's go. We're about to get ass. We're about to get our ass forked in this game. Yo, know, this sparkling ice stuff is fire, bro. Oh, this is not a sponsorship. I ain't getting paid nothing to sponsor them, but they can pay me if they want. Am I a little early for me today? Damn, only stream. Nah, I'm gonna switch over to some Pokemon later on, Cam. What's good, though, fam? Yeah, usually I'm live at about 5 p.m., 6 p.m., something like that, but I decided since I'm working Friday and I won't be able to stream, I'm going to stream a little bit earlier today, and I might stream a little earlier on thir on Thursday as well. We'll see. We shall see. Working right now, off in about two hours. Nice. EA's been the biggest moneymaker around this time for about three years is Burger King. Sheesh. Whopper, 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 Whopper. Junior Double Bacon Whopper. They didn't have the Whopper song back then, though. Alright, so we beat Miami last year. Can we beat them again? Honestly, I don't think that I can. But we're going to see. I didn't think I could beat them last year, and I beat them, so... I guess we'll find out. Or the game of the week. Oh, my God. Catch you later if you're live when I get home. I probably will be playing Pokemon at that time, but we'll see. Because I think depending on this game, uh, I might play one more after this and then switch to Pokemon, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, we're actually featured in the paper, bro. Look at this. My man Alex Moran is actually in Sports Illustrated right now. Okay. Your friend is a derp. What happened? Moran's awarded player of the week after Rebels open season. Oh, open season with a win. Damn. We, we in the newspaper, y'all. We watch the news in the morning. What a start for the 2007 Rebels. All we did is beat Army, bro. Wasn't all that impressive. We watched the news in the morning. No, we watched the news. Needs for, need for Speed Underground 2. Most 1 in 05. Fight Night Round 3 and 4. Need for Speed Carbon. All which has BK. True that. He said a date went horrible because he was a klutz. Talked with the girl yesterday. She said he was adorable. Aww. See, he, I mean, I feel like I'm in, I'm the same way. Like, I, I probably would feel like I messed up in a date as well, even if it wouldn't. Well, just because of anxiety and whatnot. But, you know, 
And now, and now he's saying he wants to get Sakai by. Tr- oh my god, I'm dead. I am dead. What the Ohio State lost to freaking Syracuse, bro? What the hell? They lost to Syracuse. What happened? The number one team in the nation lost to some random sloppy jalopy team in Syracuse. That's wild. LSU barely beat. All right, so I don't feel as bad anymore because LSU barely beat UL Monroe. And they only allowed one less point than us. And Ohio State just lost to Syracuse, so. I don't feel as bad. Syracuse is like 57th in the nation, too. Alright, let's try to beat Miami here. One or more. Oh my god, of course. Agassiz getting suspended for three. What did you do, you dumb dumb? Las Vegas paper reports that Agassi was involved in a recent fraud scandal. You cocksucker, bro. You absolute cocksucker. Right before we play like our tough stretch, bro, you fucking dumbass. Oh my god, bro. We're about to get smoked now. I have... <laughs> My receiving core is horrible. There's no way we're beating Miami now. There's literally no way. There's just no way we're going to win this game. Like, there's actually just no way. Agassi is just... He's just... He's he's a goofy goober, bro. Are the Canes going to be smoking that pack after this one? And so, probably... My favorite holiday, Halloween, and Christmas. I don't know if my birthday can count. Uh, somebody else counted their birthday, so I was like, you know what? It was uh, TMG who actually counted his birthday, so he can, if he can count it, you can count it as well. What's good, though, Eagles? How's it going, bro? And here come the Rebels. I just tell my friend if he doesn't stop being a pessimist about himself, I'll slap it out of him. Might as well. I'll tell you what, Lee and Kirk, I am ready for this game. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? You know, I think in a game like this, Kirk is gonna pick my, uh, Miami, of course. Miami is gonna attack this defense in the air, and I'll tell you. This is the key to the game. If their quarterback has time to throw, he'll have a huge game today against that vulnerable secondary. And I'd like to add one thing. UNLV is set to have a terrible game offensively. I think they're going to turn the ball over three, maybe four times against this talented defense, and I think they're going to lose this ball game, Kirk. Damn, so they're both picking Miami to win, so now i got to shock the world. I'd be a pessimist person, but it usually goes away, especially sports teams. That's fair. Pessimism isn't good. Oh, they're kicking it, you assholes. You freaking assholes. All right, bet. So, we have Boston Benson. All right, Marcellus Lee's not going to be. Yeah, he's back. He's back. Might need Kemba to play some receiver for us today. The dude's an actor for fuck's sake, right? I've been thinking about this idea from our wrestling stuff might unite the titles for the tag team division. Nice. We should have a return on this. Sounds like a good idea to me. Walker fields at the goal line. He tries Ooh, spin. nice spin. Nice spin. Alright, well. Instead of running right at him, you can run around him on This is gonna be a rough game, I feel like. High formation here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Four yard gain by the back. I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing too special. Go back to the run game. I like it. I like it. They line up in an eye. Let's go, Burns. 
Good run. Brings him down. On defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. UNLV lines up in a double tight set. Last I heard is he auditioned for a role in The Mandalorian Season 3. Ooh, okay. That'd be dope. And he's gonna lose I know when somebody who's actually in The Mandalorian would be lit. There's two tag team titles. It's red one, gold one. Whoever wins that one is deleted and sent to the death note. <laughs> I'm dead. That's fair, Eagles. Line up in an eye formation. Play action. Look. He rolls out to the Somebody get open, please. I'm running. He scrambled. Here comes the pressure. He has some room. He's knocked out of bounds. Wait, why the fuck is Fallen in the game? Get him out. I was wondering why he was running so slowly. Moran is our quarterback. I'd try to screen here. You really have a little to lose and a lot to gain if your halfback can find an opening and <laughs> down the field. Third down and three coming up. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. They come out with four wide out. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. He rolls left. Oh my god, Boston, you alligator arm bitch. Wide out a little too much that time. You'd expect him to punt here, but it looks like they're not thinking that way. Come on, jump, please. Jump, 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 jump. I'm out. UNLV calls a timeout. Well, I wouldn't try anything dumb here. You got to play field position game. I should have just taken the delay of game, honestly, but oh well. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 81 takes Good it tackle, Lee. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 18. High formation here. Oh, good tackle. Let's go. And he's taken down. He plows ahead for a two yard gain. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Kane come out in the ace formation. The Canes, the Mr. Hurricanes. Oh, crap. Walker. I had a shot at him. I dove way too early. Let's get this three and out, boys. Let's go. Miami lines up with three receivers. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Good job, defense. There we go, Holden. Holden's been killing it. He's been killing it in these first two games. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 13 gets it off. Here, catch Walker. that Walker. There we go. Catch. He hauls it in at the 43 yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up. Right, we're going to play action 43. here. Miami comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Looking oh my God, really? Incomplete pass. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness. Four people who has attack team titles are Zarmor King and King from Tekken series and the Usos from Bloodline. True. Moran drops back. He's looking. He rolls out to the right. Throws short. Finds his back with some room to run. Dan Burns is getting all the work today. I just let the players go I'm definitely not doing that. Let's go slants. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 50. Burns. Lines up in a deep back, I formation. Moran will throw. There's Lee. He spins around. They'll bring him down. They convert on third and Good long. Good catch, guys. baby. Offense coming through in a big, big way. Time. How about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk. The quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first. And also, you have a trio title now. Let's go. It's time. The Rebels come out showing three wide looks. Lee just came off red shirt. 
because of Agassi getting suspended. He already has two catches in this game. This is where you just go with what you know the best. First and ten. Ball on the 19. This will be the first snap inside the 20 today. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Ah. They'll make the sack. And the blitz. I shouldn't have hesitated. And the offensive line couldn't adjust to them sending added pressure. And the result was a nice play for the I should have just started running once I dropped the icons the first time. Didn't know who to block. Oh, well. Burn takes a hand off. Oh. He took him out of his shoes. Good job, Burns. Four, maybe five yards on the run. In this situation, you gotta throw the ball to your best receiver. It's called the King of Three. True. Third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Moran drops back to pass. Oh, come on, McCringleberry. There you go, baby. They'll bring him down. There you go, big dog. Big dog. Yeah, that's real. When you're this close to scoring the touchdowns, I'm telling my guys to hold on to the football. They put everyone up on the line. Moran options out. Laterals back. Spins upfield. He's gobbled up in the backfield. They ran the option, but the defense was ready for it and got him for a loss. And that's where the scout team really should get some credit. Those kids who are redshirting spend the whole week at practice giving this defense a great option look. Now the scout team didn't make any tackles just yet. Let's go, Burns. Them, this there we go. Just lost playing against the option. Yo, Kaz, how you doing? What's up, Pez? How you doing, fam? We are just playing some NCAA 2005. We're up six to nothing, pending the extra point against Miami. Against good old Mammy. All right, there we go. I was going to say, it's too early in the season, Harmon. Don't be missing these extra points. You already kicked the ball out of bounds twice last game. Do, 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 do. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Hell of a kick. Number 25 fields it in the end zone. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive. As they were forced yeah, to all of you guys on Twitch, if you guys are not already subbed to me on YouTube, y'all got to come through. I'm also live on YouTube and kick as well at the moment. So go drop me a sub. Go say what's up over there as well. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Number 25 alone in the backfield. Another run. Missed tackle. Oh, come on, Lee Davidson. They get a good seven yards on that one. All right, let's stuff them here, fuckers. It's third and inches. Ball on their own 30. Miami lines up in a goal line set. Let's go. Roy Wire with a clutch tackle. Yeah, I'm not doing all that. Pizzelli and Isles. <laughs> Watch, if I would have kept that going, we would have got a flag for something. I'm good off that. Number 13 gets it off. Walker. The right, good job, bro. Walker. This one might be coming back. Gonna get us for clipping, aren't they? Yeah. It's on Benson. Come on, dog. So clipping on the play will send the offense backward. No, he's positive. I believe Jimmy and Armor King are starting. Ooh, okay. Apparently he didn't Jimmy two blunts. More playing time. Moran back to throw. Looking. Oh, uh, Lee, where? Are you? Come on, man. I know that corner's pressing you out a little bit, but come on, man. The Rebel come out in a two tight end set. They keep it on the ground. Damn. Brought down. Pick up of a yard to the tailback. All right, third and nine. 
What I like about this play is that I'm a very neutral commentator, but you don't want the bloodline to win. I feel you. To get the first down. Three wide outs here. Moran back to pass. Oh my goodness. Almost intercepted. Not a good decision here by the quarterback throwing into coverage. You gotta punt the ball in this situation. Yeah, 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 Lee. I know. Gotta punt the ball. In the no shit, bro. And they're ready to punt this one away. Nice punt, Mango. That was nice. That was a good one. Let's go, Rebels. Let's go, Rebels. Let's go, Rebels. Fuck. Tackle him. Oh, my God. No way. Rollins get him. Come on, Rollins. He's not going to get him. To the 10. Touchdown, Miami. What a spectacular individual effort by the running. This guy runs with a lot of determination. He never seems to go down after the first hit. Listen up, guys. This kid is a... Oh, you said an enrollment. <laughs> I'm dead. And power. And boop. He makes the big guys miss him. And Roman is crazy. Just over a minute to go in the first quarter. Fuck the you. Yes, fuck the you. Fuck Miami. Fuck Miami. Fuck Miami. Fuck Miami. Time once again for this offense. I'll be so glad when we get this inventory thing over with at work. Just got a call, so now I gotta be there at 5 a.m. tomorrow instead of 7. Still have the same time though, bro. That's so ashy. They'll go to work at the 27 yard line. Moran. So ashy. Moran set to go to the air. He's looking. He's under pressure. Oh my god. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, they got some This is all Agassi's fault. Well, that's the whole goal of the defense. They're going to This is Agassi's fault. Multiple looks and blitzing from the linebackers in the secondary to try to confuse him. I blame Agassi. Comes out with an eye formation. Looks. Going deep. Now we're throwing it into double coverage. Someone got a hand on it. And it falls incomplete. I don't mind Miami. Well, you're also not a Florida State fan. So. Tell you what. It's a long yarded situation. You don't like Florida. I feel. Well, me neither. The convert the first down. Drops back to pass. Looking. Steps up. I'm Watson. It's deflected. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. Number 81, back to return it. Number 99, gets it off. It's a low line drive. Number 81, fields it for 37. There's a missed tackle. Oh, my God. Flag down, and I'm not sure... Please be a clip. ...was thrown. Let's find out. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Miami goes with the ace set here. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Give me that. He's right there for the interception. Anthony frickin' Rollins, baby. That interception will be credited to the linebacker. Way to come down with Florida State, Miami, and UGA, the brotherhood of, Flo of Florida sucks, exactly. He must have caught some balls in high school or something. Christmas. There's no context. Your first message being Christmas is crazy, A-80. I know what the context is, but no context. That's just crazy. At the 39-yard line. The Rebel line up with two tight ends. He's looking. God damn it. Down he goes. So the blitz frees up the lineman for a nice sack there. 31 19. Let's go. First down there. I just throw the ball down the field. Hey, maybe you'll get lucky. The Rebel come out showing three wide. Looks. Throws it to the outside. Picked off by the linebacker. The linebacker. Comes uh. Let me say one thing. That was a tough catch. I thought he was going to go with the receiver, but I guess not. I thought he was going to go with Boston. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. 
There's a shift by the linebacker. They'll throw on first. Give me that. He's right there for the interception. Got it right back. Tackle. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. That's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. And that's why a pass rush is so crucial to a defense. It allows you to intercept those passes from the quarterback. Oh, man. And he's taken down. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brad. I don't know what the quarterback saw, but hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. As a coach, you got to do some different things to keep that. Right, let's run the ball. Moran with three wide receivers. Burn. Oh my God! No blocking whatsoever. Well, these guys fast or what? Good job of penetrating and getting to the ball carrier here. Third and eleven coming up here. Ball on their own 38. Miami lines up in a dime defense here. Oh my god, bro. And a safety guy This defense is so ridiculous. You gotta pump this one away. They line up to pump this one away. He gets it off. Good tackle, there we go. Well, the offense handing back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. It's first and ten, ball on the 22-yard line. Linebackers move over. Hand off up the middle. Oh, my God, get him. And they make the stop. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Five-yard gain. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 27. Second and five. Lines up in a shotgun set. Oh my God, get him. Oh my God. A QB draw caught me off guard. First and 10. Ball on the 41. The Rebel bring in the nickel package. Pitch is right. And down he goes. There we go. That'll be a pickup of a yard. One yard game on the play. UNLV brings in the nickel here. Second and nine. On the ground, up the middle. Brought down. My defense. Well, he did a nice job of keeping his feet moving. Good, solid run. It's first and ten. Get hype, everybody. Get hype. Get hype. Get loud. Hands in the air. About to go down. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's rolling right. He pumps once. Oh, damn. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath. Relax and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kids. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Miami sets up with four receivers. They'll go with a run once again. It's after Rollins. With a takedown. A gain of about four yards on the draw. Frickin' Rollins. It's third down and six to go. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Number 12 is back in the gun. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Under pressure. This one's thrown deep over the middle. Let's go. Good job, 21. What the quarterback was looking at on that one. Yeah, it cost him. He just threw his third pick of the game. 21. Can you do some for me? Each and every mistake this quarterback is making. They'll take over at the nine yard line. First and ten. They go with the option. Oh, I tried to pitch it. Yards on this one. Nowhere to go there on the quarterback keeper. I like this one here. You got the defense thinking option, then you hit him with a pass. UNLV lines up with three receivers. Here's the option. Come on, Benson. Pick and he dropped it. That one could have been an interception. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down there. I just throw the ball down the field. Eh. Maybe you'll get lucky. The Kane line up with six defensive backs. Looks. Wants the middle. There we go, Benson. 
Good catch. Brings him down. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they convert it third and long, it just, just makes, makes them, them sick. sick. Looking. Throws this one Lee, what are you doing? Oh my god, Lee. And he's going to take it back. That's not a... Oh, my God, bro. He pushed me in the back. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. I don't know what the fuck Lee was doing here, but he just was not going after the ball whatsoever. I mean, that should be P.I., but okay. Okay, Lee can sit the fuck down now. Tacks on the extra point. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Miami 14, UNLV 7. Miami to kick. McFadden and Walker back to return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. McFadden fields it in the end zone. Oh, let's go. He tries to spin. Good return. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back down the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move. But they cannot turn it over again in the same situation. That, my friends, would be a heartbreak. UNLV comes out. God the damn it. Cameron tackles him for a loss on the play. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He just went right through him. Man, who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. Moran fakes a handoff. He's looking. Across there we the go, field. Boston. Good catch. Finally, you're doing something. Outstanding play that one. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. I'd run it down their throat here. Nothing too special. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Rebels line up in an I formation. There's Boston again, baby. Why? Keep on going. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had... Let's go right up the middle. To look downfield. Show them we ain't scared of him. The 20. We ain't scared. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result Good in run another. by Burns. There we go. A nice pickup of about eight yards. When you're in the red zone, it's harder to spread out the defense. Let's give it to Collier now. A lot of room. But depending on the play, you can find some holes in the deep. UNLV lines up in a double tight set. Tackle. And he picks up the first down on the run. Good job by the fullback there, keeping the chains moving. The big fullback. See if they can get it in for the touchdown. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled. A two yard run by the halfback. I pitch it to my back and have him turn the corner. Remember, you only have to break the plane of the goal line. You're running the pitch to the short side, though. See if they can punch this one in. Burn gets a call. <laughs> That blows. Good penetration by the defense there as they tackle him for a loss. It's third down and you've got to convert. Just give the ball to your go-to guy. Moran comes to the line with three wide. Forrest comes away with a sack. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Oh, my God. We'll just kick our field goal now. Bring out the kick team. Number 18. What's up, Tyler? How's it going, man? It's up. And it is good. And it sails through the uprights. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. UNLV is ready to kick it away. 
number 25, and number 81, deep to return. Here's Christmas, I got you. Number 25 feels it in the end zone. Shoves him away. Oh, God, get him. He spins around. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't attempting. And how many times did you go right back in there to throw another pick? As you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know better than that. <laughs> they are going to pitch it, and he's going to throw. Oh, my God, bro. Tackle? I couldn't switch to anybody in front of him for some Miami reason, but okay. Second and two. Ball on the 26. The defensive back's moving in closer. Drops back to pass. He's drilled as he throws. Give me that. And it's picked off. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. You got that one right. Anytime we young kids see one of those big guys looking to knock his head off, his brain is telling him one thing. Just throw it. Well, he did, Lee. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team. Moran with three wide receivers. Moran on first down. Oh. That, that wasn't good. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. It's second down and ten to go. Okay, let's try to get to the Benson here. Three wide outs here. Moran steps back to pass. Rolls right. Damn it. And it's incomplete. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Of course. Of course. Beep. 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 Uh, Scooter, what are you doing? Kirk, my friend, that's the sound of the offense going in reverse. Second and long. Ball right around midfield. UNLV sets up in the eye. Looks. Throws it to the outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, if he would have caught that. Almost picked off. He just couldn't find the handle. That poor kid looked like he was trying to catch a greased pig. Easy, Scooter. You fucking bastards. Fucking bastards. UNLV comes out in the shotgun. Looking. He's going to oh, Okay. Someone got a hand on it. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going. And I think it's safe to say it didn't get going at all. No one caught a pass on that drive, and that, my friends, deserves a major league yoke. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Punts the ball away. Number 25 calls for the fair catch. Damn it, bro. Come on. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. It's first and ten. Oh, we got to get another pick here, guys. Let's go. Number 25 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Everybody get hype. Oh, my God. Tackle this bitch. Brought down. Second down and five. Why everybody get hype? Let's go. Single set backfield. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. Ooh, that was close. Falling incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. Got to relax and just make a good throw. Third and five coming up. Ball in the 25. The Kane come to the line with their jumbo package. They keep it on the ground. Again, there we go. Timeout. Out. UNLV calls a timeout. We have no timeouts left. What the fuck? Walker awaiting the return. Number 13 gets it off. Walker signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 30. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 30-yard line. Moran drops back to pass. Ooh, come on, Benson. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He had it knocked loose before he could control it. Just a great play here by the defender to force the issue. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 30. Moran comes to the line with three wide. He's looking. Oh my goodness. 
great defensive play by the cornerback. You got to go out there and compete. Be a competitor. Oh, we're going to have to scramble for this one, it looks like. Because ain't nobody's getting open. The Rebel set up in the gun. Moran drops the throw. Now he tries to buy some time. He's on the run. Well, he made him pay with that run. Yeah, the quarterback is so dangerous because he can beat you throwing or running. As a player, you've got to get out of bounds or get the first down in order to stop the clock. You know in college football, the clock is stopped when the chains are moved on first down conversion. Moran drops back. Looks. Oh, I couldn't get the first. How about that play? That's a good pick up there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Hurry up, Moran. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Bro, get to the line. Get to the chopper. Wide receiver. Looking. Rolling out to the right side. Oh ball. my god, why would you dive for it? Four yards on that one. Uh, we gotta we gotta just spike and then yeet. Oh, hurry up, get to the line. They're lining up in the five two. Spikes the ball. It's time to find out how far your quarterback can throw it. And break for a mirror. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Moran set to go to the air. He's looking. Throws. Ah oh, man. Well, 14 to 10 at the half. Not a good first half of play at all. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Miami. UNLV will be kicking off to start the second half. He sends this one deep. Number 25 fields it in the end zone. Oh, good tackle, follow. There we go. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time. Oh, let's go defense. Let's get a stop here. They shift on the defensive line. Oh, they won the, they're the under Sweden champions. Nice Eagles. They are gonna pitch it. Good job on Manning. There we go. A loss on that one. Roderick Manning. Big lineman. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed them. Second and thirteen. Have they even passed the ball at all today? They're over six passing the ball so far. Four picks. The Rebel bring in their dive package. Back to pass. Steps up. Looks. Wants the middle. Complete. Oh, my God. And they make the stop. How about that reception, Lee? A good That's their first completion. I jinxed it. And some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. Four wide. Nice play fake. Oh, he just missed it. And it's incomplete. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. Again with the run. Tries to juke. Spins get him, bro. Come on. With a takedown. They'll grab 10 yards there. Gain of 10 on the play. It's Come on, boys, let's go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Miami lines up in a goal line set. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. On the ground with a tailback. Oh, get it. Let's go. Let's go. And so they'll turn the ball over on the fumble. Yeah, the that is so clutch. Good, good job of protecting the ball. This defense took advantage of it. Lately, lately you've been playing 2K13 is a lot of fun. I might start playing that again soon once I get my new controller. field position to start the drive. The Rebel line up with three wide. Moran hands off right side. The AI is nuts on it, right? He gets back to the line of scrimmage. As a quarterback, you got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39. 
Moran comes to the line with three wide. Chucks it. Oh, he's wide open. He wants to fucking throw it outside. I'd come out going. Oh my god, bro. Find 2K5 easier though. Yeah, that sounds about right. Moran with three wide receivers looking. Now he's oh God, bro. And they get the sack. So he's sacked by the fifth-year senior at defensive end. Not an easy thing to have to block this guy for four quarters. Yeah, quite honestly, I don't know if it can be done. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Gets it away. It's low. Uh. And it's out of bounds. Not a good punt. Yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 27. UNLV brings in their nickel packing. Yeah, 2 k 5s and uh, NFL 2K5 is hard as hell AI was. There's the play fake. He's oh, pick it all, snick it. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 27. UNLV lines up in a dime defense here. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. Oh my God, that was my zone too. Walker brings him down. First down. You can sack easier, man. Yeah. Throw by the quarterback. I actually taking what the defense. Maybe I'll play ESPN NFL. Ball right around on my 360. We'll see. Alone in the backfield. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Nice play fake. Wants to throw outside. Oh my God! Get him. And he's taken down. Uh, well, our defense was the only thing holding us into this game, and now they're just breaking down right now. Play a little bit tighter in the secondary. Miami sets up with four receivers on the tackle. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Second and nine. Come on, defense. Get height. The linebackers shift over a little. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Give me that. No. Thank you. And the defense is on it. Hard to believe it, but that is his fifth pick of the ball game. Oh, you better believe it. He's been thrown into double and triple coverages all day. Yeah, you're bound to get intercepted a lot if you make those types of throws. They'll take over at the 25 yard line. I mean, line. they still haven't benched this man either. Miami brings in the nickel here. He's looking. He the burns. Complete. And he's tackled. Never like Blitz because it was so fast paced. I mean, Blitz is just meant to be like an arcade game, so. It's not for everybody. All on their own 30. The Rebels come out in a two tight end set. Look. Oh, come on, you. Oh my God, bro! Too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think the quarterback just overestimated his right. speed. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Moran steps back to pass. He's rolling left, scrambling around. Hey, bro. He keeps it. How about that third down conversion? Yeah, when I was so close. Like that, as a coach, I should have just dumped it off, but yeah, good job you know. by this young man of not forcing the ball into coverage. First and ten. I think it's better with friends. One hundred percent. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Throw. You can't drop passes like that, bro. Whoa, not too many passes are gimmies like that one. It's second down and ten to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. High formation here. Drops back to pass. Throws it. Oh my can you guys please catch a pass? Oh my god. What's up, uh, Randy? How you doing, bro? That guy's gotta make the catch. So another third So many drops, bro. Get it together, y'all. The rebel go with the I formation back to pass. Ooh, that was close. Oh, there we go. Game gives them a Games like down. Blitz, the Blitz League, and fast pace are better with friends today. I exactly good chilling. I feel you. A little bit more on first and second. Let's see what we're in a tight game against Miami. On the 48 yard line. UNLV lines up in a double. Oh, come on, Burns. Keep it on the ground. Can't wrap him up. And down he goes. About eight yards there. 
Because most of them, the AI is too easy to... Yeah. It's, in Blitz League, the AI is too easy. You fake the handoff, get the defense to come up, and then bang, over the top with the pass. Moran comes to the line with three wide. Waiting for the World Baseball Classic. USA versus Japan tonight. Not an overly impressive run, but it does give them the first down. As a coach, you love mismatch. In this case, if the slot guy's covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. Moran on first down. He steps up. Ooh, let's go, McCrinkleberry. Go. All right, let's go. How about your assessment of that long Maybe Otani versus Trout. Ooh. Anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. Uh, Sega Soccer Slam is a very underrated soccer game because it predates Mario Strikers. True. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal. On Let's go. Run. Come on, Slater. Oh, you're so close. The handback gets the goal. Well, we're going to go straight up QB sneak. Yeah. Never saw anyone had the patience for Blitz the League. Took forever to load up a game. Oh my god, bro. The loading screens take forever, for sure. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Sneak it in. And Moran's in. We got the lead. Let's get it. The quarterback took it in for six. The key to that play was the push by the offensive line. They said, we're going to run right at you. We can't stop. And it's done by 2K and Black Box devs. Ooh. I've never played it, so. I'm not really all that hip to it. So with less than two to go in the third quarter, our score, UNLV 17, Miami 14. UNLV ready to kick this one off. Number 25 and number 81 back deep to return. Kicks it deep. Roman and Solar are scrapping and training. True. Fields it in the end zone. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. Number 25, the lone back. <laughs> on the ground, the tailback. Good right, job, defense. That'll be a two yard gain. Just need one more stop, guys, and then we, we should be able to score on the next drive. Miami lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Let's it fly. And it's caught. How do you not tackle him, bro? Oh my god, really? The screen pass gives him a new set of downs, and you know what, you guys? Those offensive linemen were out there were really Bro, I had two guys who could have tackled him. Neither of them got him. Bit of help from the big fellas downfield. Big, sweetheart. Those guys are huge. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. They are going to pitch it. Get him. There we go. And he's got too many yards, though. Four yards on that one. Too many yards. So why this match exists, Romans and Trey and the Silver Sickle for the Oh. That's interesting. Inside handoff. Good tap. He rumbles ahead and picks up about five. Third down and a yard. This is the fifth play of this drive. Looks like they're thinking run and move everyone up to play. Let's go, Fala. Let's go. Great play by the big linebacker. I'll tell you what, coach. It looked like he snuffed that one out from the beginning. You're right, Kirk. There wasn't much the ball carry could do. Mutant Football League was my favorite game back in the day. The new one is pretty good, too. And they're coming out with Mutant Football League 2 very shortly, so... Thought that's something to look forward to. And this one's gonna go out of bounds at the thirty. Say the sports games now is why I like. I still like games like this because of the balance and quality and quantity. I feel that. Sega was go to big effects. Out capacity. I got you. Moran drops back on first down. He's looking. He rolls out to the right. Batted ball. 
and it's knocked down. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. UNLB comes out with two tight ends. Rolls to the right. Looks. Throws this one. Ah. Couldn't haul it in. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up, and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You got to give this guy a break. I don't know about that, Coach. Nowadays, tight end's got to be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. Throws it. He dropped it again, bro. Off his hands incomplete. The tight end almost had that one. I threw it right on the money, and he just dropped it. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 81 fields at the 17, takes off a tackle. All right, y'all, get them fours up. Get them fours up. It's a huge fourth quarter. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. They'll get the ball here at the 33-yard line. The Hurricane line up with three wide. Good tackle. There we go. What's up, Leathers? The linebacker uses his speed to come up with a huge stop behind the line of scrimmage. Second and eleven. Just in a tight game with Miami. Number twenty-five alone in the back. You talking about? Yeah, Agassi got suspended for four games, man. Looking. Watch the middle. Bro, come on, follow. Good yardage there. Don't That'll fall, be follow. It's time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking right. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Miami goes with the ace set here. Ooh, good tackle. Davidson got dropped. Second and nine coming up here. Ball right around midfield. There's a shift by the linebacker. So, uh, NBA Jam was there. He's looking. He's rolling right. Across the middle. Ooh. In and out of his hand. That was close. Nice catch. This is a that was close. The receiver got his hands on the ball, but couldn't quite pull it in. All right, big third and nine here. They're 0 for 6 on third downs. Knock on wood. 0 for 7, baby. Knock on wood. The cane come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Throws to the middle. Oh, well. And down he goes. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. Boom shakalaka. And long. It just makes them sick. The linebacker shift over a little. Randall on the handoff. Get him. There you go. And they make the stop. He rumbles ahead and picks up about five. What the fuck, Chuck? Oh, my God. The Rebel line up in a nickelback. Oh, my God. Get him. There you go. Personally, I had Genesis. I had Genesis and SNES. I had both of them. So another third Both down upcoming for the offense. All right, last time they were in the set, they fumbled it. So let's see what happens here. There we go. No end around for you. Just a great play there by the linebacker. Yeah, he showed his speed as he knifed into the backfield to bring down the ball carrier. Vincent lined up for the field goal. He's going to need some distance on this one. The kick is up. He missed it. Let's go. No good. He missed it to the right. And that is a huge missed opportunity. Poor guy. He had a chance to tie it up there, and he just couldn't connect. Even his girlfriend won't like him tonight. <laughs> Even his girlfriend won't like him tonight. UNLV comes to the line with three wide. Looks. Rolls right. He gets the pass away. away. Ooh, I tried to juke him, but oh well. Wish today's sports games would convert some of the stuff back to the Sega days. Eh, me too. I'm right there with you, Randy. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Miami lines up in a dive defense here. And they make At least some aspects of it. Picks up a yard on the counter. 
In this situation, I'd keep it on the ground and get myself a fresh set of downs. Well, I'm gonna go for a pass. Ball at 34. UNLV comes out in the shotgun, drops back a pass. He's gonna try and scramble. Here comes the pressure. Looks like I think he got it. So they can yep. run third down. Yep, not exactly the way they drew it up, but I think they'll take the first. No question. The defense did a nice job of covering the receivers, and there was no uh, one. Then when PS1 came out, one of my favorite sports there, but the NHL rocked the rank. Never heard of it. And NBA, NBA Live 98 was dope, too. On the run, and he's taken down. And he gets a yard on the run. One yard gain on the play. Whoa, I like this play. Now you get the play. And NBA Live 98 was so easy to make threes. Yeah. They line up in an eye. Moran, back to pass. There's Benson. There we go. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first Beautiful. down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and ten. Let's keep and it this going. This is the sixth play of the drive. Again to the fullback. Tackle. Collier had some space. As a quarterback then, yeah, 99 came out and made it more so than 98. Yeah. Second and eight coming up here. This is a I am hip. Drive. Miami comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He gives a pump fake. He's scrambling. There you go, Benson. Good job, O-line. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch. It's you even enjoyed NASCAR 98 on PS1. I never played it. Exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. UNLV comes out with two tight ends. Moran back to throw. Looking. Throw. And he can't make the catch. Dropped by the wideout. These fucking drops are going to kill us, man. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. What's good, CT? How's it going, bro? Back to pass. He's looking. Steps up. He tosses it short. And it's There we go, Burns. There we go. They got a few yards on that pass. Yeah, we talked about how the run will open up the passing game. But some teams like to use their intermediate passing game to open up the run. Either way you look at it, it's good balance. NBA Live 2001 is where, yeah, I think it definitely peaked in 2001. The Rebels come out in the shotgun. Moran running the option. Now he pitches. I mean, 06 was pretty good from what I saw as well. They haven't been stopped on third down this whole. Uh, oh, I would say 02 to 06 were really good games too. 07 was when it like really started declining. Let the drive continue. When you're in the red zone, it's harder to spread out the defense because there's not a lot of room. But depending on the play, you can find some holes in the deep. UNLV lines up in a double tight set. Burn takes a pitch. He jukes. And right. he's tackled. That'll be a pickup of a yard. One yard gain on the play. I like running here in this situation. It's a safer play. Is it really safer, though? I'm good. I just got off work. How you, how's your day going? My day's going pretty well. I hit the gym in the morning and worked on a couple of videos. And now we live. In the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Rolling out to the right side. There we go. There we go. Make the stop. Miami takes a timeout. I'd give it to the halfback and have it run between the tackles here. You gotta dump that. Dreamcast had some of the best 2K sports games of his day. Facts. UNLV will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll go on bus later. Miami. It's going to make Miami use their timeouts. Use them timeouts, Miami. The score this close to the end zone because the defense is all bunched up there. You just got to find the defense's weakness. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. And he's in. Oh, that might have just wrapped this thing up. I tell you what, Kirk, this defense had to keep them out of the end zone and off the scoreboard there, but they couldn't make the stop. And now they're down by two scores with not a lot of time left. It's going to take a heck of a finish to come back in this one. All right, we just need a strong defensive stand here in these last two minutes. And he hits the PAT. Yeah, coming over to PS2 from Dreamcast, my first game was NFL 2K3. Hey. This backyard baseball in the piece. Yeah, that was the backyard games or something else. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Do 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 do
Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, and that poor kicker has to win. Is that work as you did at the gym? So today was chest, triceps, uh, and this offense is traps, and abs. And I did, I ran 15 minutes on the, oh, let's go, on the treadmill. This man has thrown six picks in this game. Sometimes you hear people say that defensive backs can't catch the ball. Six interceptions thrown by Miami's quarterback. Well, this guy just proved that theory wrong. He can definitely catch. That might be game, y'all. This man is only negative. He's only down two points, though. Okay, that don't make any sense. Moran comes to the line with three wide, and down he goes. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Yeah, today was continue to milk that clock. Was a triceps, chest, uh, traps, and abs. And then tomorrow is gonna be leg day. I'm still gonna hit the treadmill before I do leg day to warm my legs up. Moran hands it off. So 2013 was the last great sports game year, pretty much. Miami takes a timeout. Miami uses their final timeout. I try to screen here. You really have a little to lose and a lot to gain if your halfback can find an opening and down the field. They line up in the jumbo set. Drops back to pass. On Burns. They'll bring him down. That's not going to do it. They needed just a few yards, and they got just a few yards. Minus a couple of inches. Bring out the kick. We're gonna go for it. Until the PS3 came out. Yeah. This looks like a pretty gutsy call here. Whoa, they might want to reconsider this one. Ain't nothing to reconsider. We're putting this game away right here. Four, three, two. And we got it. That's game. Great call on fourth down to let the big quarterback bull his way forward for the first. Sneaks are easy for this kid. He's so tall, he can just take the snap, fall forward, and still pick up the first down. Yo, don't do anything silly. You got this one in the bag. We have beaten Miami for the second straight year. We beat him in Miami last year, and we and beat him at home this year. They just try to kill the clock. Just a kneel down will steal yet another upset over Miami. And he'll just kneel it here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And this one's all wrapped up. Kirk, any final thoughts here? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Miami had a few misses. What's up, BSG? I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. Well, that'll wrap up another chapter in NCAA football. Woo! Lee Corso and Kirk Street signed That was a hell of a game. Long, everybody. That was a hell of a game. Reporting live, you know, Coach Cena smoking a cigar with Miami written on the side. You already know, Lucky. Yeah, not a great game for Moran at all, but, you know, he made it work. And then Burns had 52 yards on a touchdown. Moran with two rushing touchdowns. And then all these jabronis. McCringleberry had three drops. Good lord. Six interceptions. Good lord. That quarterback was just a chair. He was just uh, feeling charitable today. Six of 17, 93 yards, and six interceptions. Good lord. And the running back was really good, but quarterback not so much. Alright, so I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom and we'll be our B.
All right, I'm back, y'all. I'm back. Who's still in here with me? That's the real question we got. Damn, so both Miami's lost. Miami of Ohio and Miami of Florida. Damn, FSU lost too. So damn, we're eighth in the nation now. And now we gotta play at Oklahoma. Leather's still in the house, let's go. Leather's is in the house, let's go. Miami's dropped to 11, okay. That's not bad for them. Bro, this man is still in the Heisman race, even though he just threw six picks. That's wild. What up, Quickie? How's it going, bro? You know, guys, I honestly think I'm gonna get off for a little bit only because. I'm not, I'm either gonna take a nap or I'm gonna go eat dinner like early today. So what I will tell you guys is I might like po just to keep an eye out for a Pokemon stream. I might be back on later on tonight. But yeah, I just I, I mean I woke up mad early, went to the gym. Your boy's tired. But I will leave you guys and get in the very capable hands of my boy Manny Jones. He's playing some NCAA football fourteen. Bad flashbacks watching play this when I had dirty programs back in the day. <laughs> Bruh, that's wild. Yeah, so we're going to raid out, raid out to my boy Manny Jones on Twitch. So if you guys want to join the raid on like from YouTube, just pop over on Twitch. And I'll probably be back tomorrow, like later on tonight. If not later tonight, tomorrow. So just keep an eye out. Either way, thank you guys so much for coming through to the stream tonight. Or today. Y'all have a great rest of your night, like I always say, no matter what happens, make sure you keep that mofo rolling. I love y'all 3,000, I'm Audi 5,000. Deuces. <laughs>